we're going to talk about six ways how kindness will ruin your life forever. I've been following stoicism for the past six years and I've been getting results. My, my mind is different, my life is different, everything is different. So here are the six ways that I would like to share to you. Point number one, unrealistic expectation. Unrealistic expectation. In the realm of stoic philosophy, the virtue of generosity takes on a great form urging individuals to give without harboring expectation of taking back. This profound principle entails recognizing that the true essence of giving lives is not in the anticipation of receiving something, but in return getting an intrinsic joy derived from the act itself. Stoicism guides us through the labyrinth of emotional roller coaster, teaching us the art of managing expectation to cultivate a serene state of mind. When we find our happiness to the action of other, when we see our happiness in the greatness of others, we set ourselves up for a potential disappointment. By embracing the stoic approach, we navigate these emotional waters with resilience, fostering a mind that finds fulfillment in the act of giving, in the act of virtue, regardless of external outcomes. So putting up an unrealistic expectation is going us, taking us nowhere. It's taking us nowhere. So we need to enjoy our life. We're finding peace in the action, not in the goal. Lesson number two, only expected to give. The stoic philosophy invites us to explore the concept of balanced giving, transcending, mere energy preservation. It's a delicate dance where generosity is not about giving an endless resource, but f about forgiving everyone and forging an authentic connections between peoples. This remarkable approach aims to avoid stoicism conflict, ensuring that our life is about giving and is not perceived as an obligation but as a genius and a genuine expression of goodwill. Stoicism teaches us to navigate these relational waters with moderation, allowing us to contribute meaningfully without becoming a well others continually drop from. It is the art of fostering relationships built on a mutual respect, shared values, where giving becomes a reciprocal exchange that enriches both parties involved in that relationship. Point number three, perceived as weak. In this stoic journey towards fortifying inner strength, the art of setting boundaries becomes a pivotal skill. This is not a reluctance to extend help, but a strategic choice to assert oneself authentically. Saying no when necessary is not a sign of weakness. Rather, it's a demonstration of self-respect and a commitment to maintaining personal integrity. Stoicism provides a sturdy framework for navigating this interpersonal dynamics, encouraging an individual to gracefully wielder of power of no. Saying no is crucial. This approach not only seals against the exploitation, but position one as a person deserving of respect, fostering genuine connection based on the authenticity. Point number four, risk of dependency. Within the stoic philosophy, moderation and self-discipline emerge as a guiding principle to navigate the potential risk associated with excessive generosity, specifically the pearl of fostering dependency. Stoicism encourages a delicate balance between extending help and unintentionally enabling dependency. By understanding the known distinction, individual practicing stoic virtue ensures that their acts as kindness empower rather than create resilience. This strategic approach involves a thoughtful consideration of consequences, enforcing the idea of generosity. When hold with the wish, wisdom, become a force of positive transformation rather than a catalyst for an unhealthy dependence. Point number five, trampled priorities. Trampled priorities, what is that? Within the Stoic philosophy, we have been taught that living in accordance with Stoic philosophies and principles involves rational and ethical decision making. A process that extends to the protection of personal priorities. Stoicism underscores the importance of setting boundaries to shield against the chosen inconvenience. It is an acknowledgement that will generosity is virtue. It is not something that comes with the cost of neglecting one's responsibility. Navigating these waters involves a consistent approach, ensuring that the act of kindness enhances one's well-being without sacrificing individual priorities. Stoicism become a guiding compass, urging individuals to strike harmonious balance where generosity becomes a source of fulfillment without compromising the pursuit of personal goals and obligation. 6. 
maintain healthy boundaries. In the vast expanse of Stoic wisdom, the concept of maintaining healthy boundaries emerges as a fundamental practice of safeguarding one's mental, emotional, physical well-being. Picture a protective fence encircling the garden of your inner life, a metaphorical representation of the boundaries Stoicism encourages. This practice involves a concise decision-making process. Understanding that preserving mental health and integrity is the crucial form of life. For sustaining meaningful act of kindness, Stoicism teaches us that the individual to navigate the seas of seniority with wisdom, ensuring that giving enhances the quality of their lives and relationship without succumbing to the potential pitfalls of extreme hate.